Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you Kolkata style aloo dum recipe. Here are the required ingredients for it. Take 500 grams of aloo, boil them in cooker for one whistle. Let it cool down and peel them off. Take half a spoon each of mitchi powder, turmeric powder and salt. Now onto the potatoes mixing bowl. Add these three ingredients and toss the potatoes until they are well coated. Now for the gravy, take 1 tablespoon coriander powder, salt according to your taste, half tablespoon turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon red meat chi powder and 1 tablespoon coriander powder. 1 fourth cup curd, 1 tablespoon garam masala powder, 3 to 4 garlic cloves chopped, 3 tomatoes chopped, 2 onions chopped and 1 fourth cup oil. To make the masala paste, take curd and into it add red mirchi powder, cumin powder, coriander powder, turmeric powder and salt and mix it well. And keep it aside. Now let's start with the cooking process. Heat a pan, add 4 to 5 teaspoons oil and then add the potatoes and let them fry until they turn golden brown. Adjust the flame to medium and fry them. Meantime, we can prepare the onion gravy also. For that, take a pan, add oil. Once the oil is hot, add chopped onions into it. Stir it once and then add chopped garlic cloves and let it fry. On the other pan, toss the potatoes and check if they are ready. They are in golden brown, so we can now take them out of the flame. Onions are fried now, so add the tomatoes and let them fry until the tomatoes turn mashy. Tomatoes are now cooked. Take the masala mixture prepared, add it. Stir it and cook until the oil oozes out of this mixture. This is the time we can add water into it. Take 3 4 cup water in the masala mixed bowl, add it. Close it with a lid and let it boil for 5 minutes now. Then add the fried potatoes and let it cook for 5 more minutes. It is almost done now. Add the garam masala powder on top and stir it once again. Close it with the lid for 2 more minutes and then take it out of the flame. It is now ready to be served. Take it out into your serving bowl. It is now ready to eat. It goes well with rice, chapati, roti or puri. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and will try the recipe. If you like this video, Please click on the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Meet you with my next video. Bye bye.